Um, I've been asked to share a few remarks uh, uh, about uh, IDFC's views on banking. Now that we've been awarded uh, uh, this conditional uh, or provisional uh, banking license, uh, so uh, this is something that has been uh, 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 that we have been thinking about for quite some time, um, and it's fair to say that uh, the the transition uh, to banking that we uh, hope to execute. Uh, is uh, strategically quite important uh, for IDFC um, in its evolution. Um, we have always held the view that uh, as uh, uh, non-bank finance companies uh, become of a particular size, uh, it becomes important for them uh, to diversify uh, their liabilities base uh, to, over time, better manage the risk um, of funding um, our balance sheet. So in that sense, um, a transition to a banking platform um, is uh, uh, strategically important for us. So first and foremost, uh, the diversification of our liabilities base um, is an important objective for us. Second, as you all know, we applied for a universal banking license and therefore it is our intention to build over time a universal bank and that by definition means also on the asset side, although we have till now been focused essentially on the narrow asset class of infrastructure, that we will embark upon a journey to diversify uh, the asset side um, of our book as well. Um, uh, we start from um, a commanding position uh, in the corporate landscape because uh, of our infrastructure footprint. We already have a strong relationship with a large number of corporates in the Indian landscape. Uh, but so far, we have uh, had the opportunity to offer only a very limited suite of products um, which, from a balance sheet point of view, amount only uh, to term lending, essentially. Uh, with uh, uh, a banking platform, we will have the opportunity to diversify um, uh, the product suite that we offer our existing clients and therefore also diversify the sources of revenues uh, from our corporate relationships. That's a very important um, aspect uh, strategically of, of our transition. And then beyond our existing relationships, as I indicated a minute ago, it will be our goal uh, to pursue other aspects of a universal banking platform, which is to say, um, uh, the retail market. In any event, we will have to access the retail market in order to build our liabilities base. And as we build um, um, our liabilities base um, by accessing retail savings, we will also seek to introduce lending products to the retail customers that we hope to acquire over time. Um, third, um, financial inclusion. Um, uh, I would like to say that uh, it is our firm belief uh, that given uh, a series of very important changes that have occurred over the last 10 years, um, starting with regulatory changes um, that have made it easier to partner with banking correspondents to use technology um, and important improvements in the availability of public infrastructure, notably, most notably, the penetration of rural telephony. 40% of in, uh, rural India now has access uh, to 2G, if not 3G connectivity, 
um, which was not the case 10 years ago. 10 years ago, only in 1% of rural India um, was connected um, uh, to wireless telephony. Um, that and um, uh, the Aadhaar-related authentication infrastructure that has been created represent very important um, changes um, along with the regulatory ones that I've outlined, which in our judgment will make it uh, much easier um, uh, for a new entrant such as ourselves um, to seek to provide financial services to the unbanked at a much lower cost and a much larger scale than has been attempted um, to date. So to summarize, uh, uh, diversification of liabilities, diversification of assets starting from a commanding position in the corporate landscape and financial inclusion, these are the contours of, um, um, uh, if you like, our, uh, our aspirations um, as, we, as we transition from um, our current platform to uh, a banking platform. Um, last word about um, um, uh, other aspects of, of the transition. Uh, we have absolutely no doubt in our minds that uh, this transition uh, will require focused execution and very hard work. Um, it is not going to be a sprint. This is a marathon um, and we believe that because um, we are uh, a patient group of people uh, very focused on risk management that we will embark on this journey um, brick by brick and will do what it takes uh, to build a franchise um, or over the next several years. Um, I think um, that pretty much covers what I had to share with you. Um, I am open to any questions that you might have. So, so Anirudh, you know, just like to understand in terms of the shareholders, how does, uh, how does this uh, change things and also uh, eventually uh, the bank is also going to be a separate listed entity. Uh, so, if you could just, uh, you know, for the benefit of the shareholders, explain how the organization structure will change and how the shareholding structure would change for an existing retail So, um, yeah, thank you for that question. I think that's an important clarification. Um, that we need to provide market participants uh, uh, and, and existing shareholders. Um, our goal is actually, uh, uh, and this is our proposal to the RBI, is that um, IDFC, the listed company, will spawn a bank which on day one will be listed. So uh, without getting into the details of, uh, of the legal aspects of the structure, effectively existing shareholders of IDFC will get to own the bank partly directly because every shareholder of IDFC will be given uh, some share in the bank and the remainder of the bank they will own indirectly through their continued ownership of IDFC.